Hey guys, DT Gaming here. Uh, so I want to talk to you guys about the sonar and how it to read it. Okay, so there's some speculation saying that the sonars are basically are there for show. It don't work. So that's where we're gonna find out if this really does work. Okay, so let's look at the first illustration here. So assuming that this is your boat and you're facing this way. So if that's correct, that means this right here would be the front of the boat. And then this be the back side. And this should be underneath the boat. Now the reason why I'm assuming this is because you see which way the fish is facing, the fish is facing um, towards the left. So the fish are going from right to left as you are going towards the right. And the fish are moving towards that way. And they are facing that way. So that's why I'm thinking that this will be the front. So when you are stationary, when you are going to be casting, do your uh, your perking and such, um, you can either cast from the front, which would be the fish will be over here, or you can cast from the back, and the fish will be moving towards this direction. Now when you cast from the back, I would recommend doing it that way. That way you can actually intercept the fish that are coming towards the backside. Now you can cast in the front and hope that there's a fish somewhere on the sonar that you can't see on this side. Now there are occasional that I notice when fishing that some fish will linger right here at the very edge of the sonar, which I'm assuming if you have your uh, bait in the water or lure, that the fish may be interested in looking at your lure and that might be an indication that you might be able to get that fish that's over here okay so remember the this be the front this be the back this should be underneath the boat now i'm pretty sure you can cast on the side of the boat which represents also underneath hopefully that's how it works okay let's look at the second illustration here okay so we can see that there are three different sizes of fish on the sonar, okay? Uh, we got your small little fish right here, which all these little ones right here are all small, as you can see. And then you got your medium-sized fish, which will be this guy right here. And then we got the large fish, okay? Okay, so you see the numbers next to each fish, right? Let's assume that this what we're looking at right here, that's 33. So that fish right there should be at 33 meter uh, depth. So I w when you want to target a fish that's at a certain meter, just uh, either use a clip or if you got that rainbow color line, you can just drop the line uh, from the back side saying the fish is right there. So you want to go from the back and drop it all the way down to 30 or 35, which hopefully that would intercept that fish right there. Okay. Then we got this one right here, the large, the medium one. That would be that one right there, that's 42 depth. Again, you want to drop your line all the way to the bottom at 45. That way you can hopefully intercept that fish. Now we got our large fish right here, which that's at 5. Now this fish, I'm assuming that these are only the larger fish that is an area like your... um. Maybe your large cusks or your tunas, your sharks, anything that's large size, maybe even the large saths and stuff. So you want to basically cast your line and seeing these fish are right at top of the water. I would just drop your line to about maybe uh, 10 to 15 meters and do your perking from there in hopes that you can actually intercept these fish at the top of the water. Okay. So let's look at the third illustration. So we have our depth now. We're gonna look at the depth. So here we are, we got 44, and down here we have 65. Okay, what I'm thinking how this works, that the surrounding depth, as you see right here, where you're at, this should be 44 meters all around you. That is to the bottom. That is the bottom, which is 44. You see the fish? That's 44 depth. Okay, now 
you see the number, uh, another number down here, 65. So I'm assuming that this is what this is. So outer depth. So if you see right here that there is a, another area right here on the outer edge. And this should be 65 depth, if I'm correct. And then right here be 79. So that's your depth right here. That's around your song here. This whole entire area right here in blue around you is going to be your 44, 47. Then that right there, the next area would be 65, which would be that. Okay. So now we're going to see if the sonar works um, based on what we see. And we're going to try to catch a fish that we see on the sonar. So, yeah. Okay, so now we are looking at the, the fish finder here. We're, we're moving, trying to find something here. And they're all at the bottom, as you see. We're just trying to get to the center of the 40 foot five here. Now, if you move at a slower pace, right? You see that the fish will start coming in more smoothly than this. Oh, sorry. And this entire thing right here, this whole mess, see how it's all clustered? Because you're going so fast that the sonar is not picking it up properly. So now we're doing at four meter, not four, four speed kilometers and we're seeing fish right here coming in so let's stop right here uh, so we got a fish at 41 and 28 and like I said that I'm assuming that this is from the backside so let's take our rod out we are looking at 28 41 and we see a fish right there lingering at the front, right? That guy right there might... I don't know what he's doing, but he's in the front. So let's try. He should be about um, around 15, 20 meters. We're going to start perking. See if we can get this fish in the front okay okay so that fish is gone which was about four meters i thought um let's see if there's anything more pops up Or we'll just move to see if we can find one. The slight movement is all you need. Okay, we got one at 42. So we want to cast from the back side because that's which way it's coming from. So I would do about 50%, 50 to 60. To hopefully intercept the fish that's coming at um, from the front. Well, that's a sink. Well, got a fish already. That could be very well the fish we're after. Actually, there was a fish right there in the front, right there at about the same depth that we just caught that one. The other one is still coming. So let's uh, fill that out and get to 42. Okay, we got all kinds of fish coming at the very top here. 
So between um, 15 and 20 meters. I think we're gonna stay steady, keep getting these fish at the top of the surface. So we'll drop it down to 20, 25, and we'll start perking to see if we can get these fish here. So, to my understanding, that the sonar is working just fine. It seems to be accurate, so I'm going to stop at 20 and 25 because I've seen about three or four fish in that vicinity. Recording. Okay, so let's uh, check the finder here. Right. We're going to move. We're not seeing anything coming up. We're going to see if we can spot a bigger fish. So far, nothing's coming up. Seen a bunch of small fish, but no big fish. Okay, we got one right there. This one at 37. It's going to the back side. But I'm going to do about 72. See if I can intercept it. Hoping the little ones will grab it. That should be good right there.
up a little bit slightly to see if we can get something here at 40 or 45. That is not the big fish. We're gonna reverse to see if we can actually find that fish again. Now, assuming that this was working and the fish is would be would past us, it's, we should have ran into it by now. Oh. We're gonna go forward and just a little bit quicker. So, it's in, the, in this area, and you see that. But there's so many small fish around with the big fish. It's going to be hard. It's always, the small fish are always going to grab the bait before the big fish does, which makes it more impossible to target the big fish because the surrounding fish around it. We just gotta get to these 40, 45. But right, we're just kitten every other fish on the way down. Okay, that should be where it would be at if it's going through. That is a bigger fish. But I don't think this is the one that we've seen. But it's probably one of the medium sized fish that we're talking about on the sonar. Okay, so as you guys see, the Actually, it's still here. It stayed in the front area. Anyways, what I was trying to say is that as you can see, the sonar is working, guys. Utilize it to, your, uh, to the best that you can. And see if you can get the part of the big fish. And a lot of you guys that have speculation saying that the sonars don't work, they're the first show and stuff. But I kind of refuse to believe that. Now, as for 
archipelago? I don't know. I do know that it does help you determine what depth the fish are are basically around and gives you an idea what lure you should be using based on their depth. Okay, I'm gonna get one more fish. Another one coming up. Looks like about uh, 35 meters. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I uh, hope that you guys uh, found this video uh, useful. And if you guys do, hit that like button. I appreciate it. And I thank you all for watching. Bye, guys.